Hello guys, it's Salman Nassim here. Welcome to the first video of our course in which we will work on Blender with the help of ChatGPT. In case you don't know, Blender is an open source free software for 3D modeling and animation, which is very famous in the animation and gaming industry. To download the software, just go to blender.org and click on download button. In case your PC or laptop don't support the latest version, you can easily download previous version of Blender which of course have little bit less hardware requirement. As per the minimum requirement for the Blender, it's need a CPU with SSE2 support, 8GB RAM and a graphic card and 2GB graphic card with OpenGL 4.3 support. That simply mean your PC or laptop shouldn't be a less than 10 year old. They also display the recommended hardware requirement for Blender. The question is how we will work on Blender with the help of ChatGPT. That is because Blender has the support for the Python and we will generate the code with the help of ChatGPT and run it in a Blender to create the animation and other stuff. But we will start with the hello world. That simply means we will create a cube with the help of our code. So we will give the prompt here. Give me a Python code that create a cube in Blender. We will run it. The ChatGPT is automatically give me the code. Remember, I am using the free version of ChatGPT. It is not a paid, it is a free and accessible for everyone. So I'll copy the code and go to the Blender. Currently, we are in a viewport. That is the viewport at the downstairs. We have the timeline. At the right side, we have the outliner, which indicate everything contained in a time, uh, everything contained in a viewport. And there is a properties menu. There is a tab for the scripting, but we'll not go there. We'll split this window by bringing our mouse to the corner and drag it like that. To, now we'll have two viewport and we'll change this window to the text editor. Click on a new button and before running the script, we'll bring our mouse to the viewport and press the A and X to delete everything. That is because by default, Blender come up with the cube. So we'll place the text over here and run it so blender automatically create a cube for us and it also contain the material before moving further it's time to cover some basic of 3d geometry that is just a basic if we select our cube and click on a tab button you will see there are the number of dots which create our which creates our cube and these dots called a uh, vertex We'll have the edge also, that's mean a simple one line uh, with the help of two edges, there will be a one vertex and also there is a face. We can select everything and also edit according to our requirement, but that is not the case currently. We'll do most of the stuff with the help of Python code. You may be also notice that whenever we click on a tab button, there will be a, another menu appear on a left side that's, that is called T menu in Blender which allow us to edit our cube. We'll co cover these part in our upcoming videos in a course. To work in a viewport, we can press the middle mouse button and uh, rotate it like that. If you don't have the middle mouse button, you can do that from here. And also we can zoom in, zoom out with the help of wheel mouse, mean the middle mouse again. And we have the move tool, like if we, if we press the middle mouse button and press the shift key, you can see that we can move it like that and there is a camera shortcut currently there is a no camera in our scene we can, you can also see in our outliner and also there is a switch between perspective and orthographic view so currently we have only one cube in our scene we will ask ChatGPT to create a code for us which will create three cubes in a line along with three point lighting so i have right the prompt that delete everything in a scene and create three cubes with little bit different in a size and also add the floor along with three point lighting set three three point lighting of different colors in case you don't know what is three point lighting we'll google it and that is the setup which is mostly used which is commonly used to project the light on specific objects so let's see what chat GPT will give us on that specific prompt as you can see in a code that is very easy to understand that it's divided a code by adding a different line for example that is set up a material for cube and set up light and everything that that we can easily edit this 
these codes if we have little understanding of python so but uh, i will just copy the code and place it in a blender we'll go there and place the code let's see how it's run so as you can see there is an error in a code that is why blender is not adding a light and camera to our scene so we'll Keep this error to chat GPT to fix the code. So we will write this error over, over here in a chat GPT and ask them to fix the code. And it is automatically fix the error and will copy the code and bring it into the, and bring it to the blender. But before doing that, I will show you one shortcut that will be very helpful for you, especially when you are placing the code from here to there. That is, if we press Windows plus V on a keyboard, the one clipboard like that will be appear on your Windows. That will help us to go back in a specific code or specific specific part. If we copy uh, if we copy paste, we can go back in a history of our copy paste and select everything as per our requirement. But currently, we don't require anything like that. We'll co we we have this code. There is that is more than enough and we'll go there in a blender and select everything delete it and bring it here you can automatically see that there are three lights here these are the three lights you can see and there is a floor there is a camera of, of course that is not pointing quite well we'll increase the size of our plane by pressing the s key and let's go in a render mode by clicking uh, the z button and select the render so you can see that how beautifully these cues are placed over here and currently we are in a cycle render we'll go to the ev you can still see that there is a at least a awesome three point lighting setup for us let's examine a little bit about the lighting we'll select the light and go to object data properties you can see the color of this light and the power and go there there is a white color light and here is another light which is a uh, you can say bra uh, you can say orangish orangish type of color and uh, as per uh, as per scene you can see it, uh, it is looking very awesome in a uh, ev and even in a cycle in case you don't know what is uh, what is a cycle and what is the ev we'll cover it in our upcoming lecture see you there hello guys salman nasim again welcome to the second lecture of our course we have already learned about a three point lighting in a previous lecture but today in today's lecture we'll add the material when i'm saying material in blender it's mean texture for example i'll select this one and i will uh, press the z and go to the render preview button and will i will go in a material section uh, if i change the base color to the red you will see that the color is automatically changed on the cube let's create something unique with the help of chat gpt so I have write down the prompt create a python code for blender in which you create a uv sphere with 10 segments and 10 rings each face should have the different material let's see so it's give me a very short code let's run it into our blender but before doing that I will select everything and delete it I will paste the code over here and click on run button so it add the UV sphere with the material for each section I think we can test it by just clicking on a select button uh, first of all we'll have to deselect and click on a select button if we go in a uh, wireframe you, you can see that there is a selection over here but the problem is every material have the same color that's why we are not seeing the impact of that material in, on a UV sphere so we will uh, we will ask the chat GPT to fix the code because we need a different color on each and every material. So I have had the prompt that add the uh, it's add it's add the material on every face, but all of them are the same color. I need every face should have different color material and don't repeat the color. Let's see what it gives us. It have the loop is uh, is give us the loop that uh, that's why it is changing the material, of course and we'll copy the uh, we'll copy the code and come to blender let's see how it's you have seen that there is an error at downstairs and currently there is a no material currently there is 
no extra material for that so for that we'll add another window to copy paste the error we'll, we have split the window and, and I will add their info so with the info we have this value over here we'll copy we'll copy this and we'll give it to the chat GPT and tell him we'll tell him to fix it so that is the way we'll easily copy paste the error in the chat GPT so I can copy again and we'll delete the sphere again and now we'll go there and paste the script so what is so what's the info window does is actually record everything which we have done in a platter we'll run the script again you have seen that there is the material on each and every face of of our sphere so we have achieved that with our chat gpt code but let's see how it look like in a rendering but for that i will add a plane i will scale up scale it up little bit and i will bring it down like that and uh, now what what i will do i will scale it a little bit more now i will hide these by clicking here and here now we'll go in a render mode currently we are in a ev and there is uh, only environmental lighting in our scene so that's is look like that and if we switch our rendering engine to cycles uh, so you will see there is a realistic light of impacting and there are few shadows over there so what is different between cycles and ev uh, the cycle is a physical based rendering engine in a blender which simulate a realistic behavior of lighting in simple word it's use a ray tracing for lighting shadows and reflection so because of that because of its realistic behavior of lighting the cycle is very much slow as compared to EV. So as per EV, it is the real time rendering engine which is uh, mostly used in a gaming. For example, if we go in, uh, for example, we are playing in a game and we have move over character. There is no need of rendering extra stuff for over there in a games. It's used techniques like rasterization and screen face reflection. Because of that, EV is very fast, but we'll have to compromise on rendering quality let's see what is the dif different between rasterization and ray tracing let's google it we'll have a few illustration over here uh, you have seen this rasterization there is a camera and there is an object in front of it it will automatically project the image in front of it the same technique which is used in a vector graphic and in a ray trace engine there is a camera and there is a projection image we will see in a uh, we, if we render something we will see the projection image in front of camera and there are the rays passes the rays, rays passes from the camera to the object and and also see the and also get the light from the lighting source and project the image to this part like if i uh, uh, enlarge it you can see that there is a shadow because of this light and you will see the image over uh, you will see the final image in a 2d format like that let's uh, uh, before ending this lecture let's test it by placing the camera in our scene i will go there and add the camera uh, and bring it back this one and i will go there and add the camera and i will press ctrl alt 0 to bring it over here and i will unhide these stuff to check uh, uh, to check everything uh, switch to and we will i will reduce the sample rate so i will reduce the samples to 32 on a viewport and also on a render and i will go there and render the image let's see with the 32 samples how much time it will take to render this specific sphere with the different materials and all this on on every face so there so to render this image it uh, the cycles take a 20 second there is a no there is no light in a scene we are uh, relying on an environmental light which we will see in our word section we'll go in a ev and test it for that that how much time it will take to render that uh, with the 64 samples we'll go and render the image so in a quarter of a second it's, it's render over image but of course there is a difference in a quality so that's that is why when you are we are using a EV will have to 
compromise on a quality. So as per the animation or concerns, we will cover that in our upcoming lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Hello guys, Salman Naseem again. Welcome to the third lecture of our course. In a previous lecture, we have created this with the help of ChatGPT. Now we will, we will ask ChatGPT to animate these colors and also we will learn few basics of animation in Blender. So I already have these charts and I will write the prompt. Okay, now animate these colors to blue on 250 frame, mean all frame on frame number one. All faces have different colors, but on frame 250, colors will turn into a blue. So I have run it and I will get the code. So you have seen that it is set up for the animation and on 250 frame and there is uh, some loop, some kind of loop inside, which hopefully fulfill our requirement. So I will copy the code and paste it here again and run it. There is a big error, big, big error. We will copy this error and go to chat GPT and ask him to fix this error. There are a lot of them. Okay, hopefully uh, the error is fixed and we'll copy the code again. And uh, it is much better to delete the sphere and delete this one also. And now we'll bring back the code and run it. So again, we are receiving this uh, same error over here. And we'll again give it. So it's actually add the keyframes and let's see. So it is turning into a blue, but there is a missing part that all faces should have different color in a start. So we will ask ChatGPT to fix that. So ChatGPT apologized to us and now we'll copy the keyframe, copy the everything and we'll paste it over here. Delete this one and we'll run it again. So hopefully now we have achieved what, what we want, but uh, in a less than uh, 50 frame, everything's turned into a 250. Uh, everything turned into a, a blue and every uh, the all other color, the all other frames are wasted actually. So we will go in an animation section of Blender and there is a dope sheet and that is which is very important for animators uh, and we will see that there it, until there there are the keyframes which are helpful after that there are the, the all frames are uh, similar very much similar we will select everything and uh, X and now we will go to the graph editor We'll change this window into a graph editor. Again, this window is very important for for animators and we'll select everything from here. We'll click on S, which means scale and we'll click on S button and on S axis. So we'll uh, make it a little bit bigger and bring it to here like that. So now uh, everything will be uh, changing its color until 250 frames. Because of that, these two windows like the graph editor and the top sheets are very important for the animator. For every animator, it should have the control on a graph editor and a top sheet. There is a NL editor, we'll cover that later in our videos. So I'll click on a home button, you will see that there is a keyframe in almost every frame. So questions come in a beginner's mind, what is the keyframe? So imagine we have this cube on a first frame. We'll bring that over here and I will reduce the size a little bit like that. And I will bring it over here. I, I will click numpad 3 to be here. And on a first frame, I will add, I will click on a I button. It will appear this menu and I will select location rotation scale, which means that I am giving command to the blender that save this location, save this rotation value and save this scale value. If you want to see what are, what are these values, we will go in this section, object properties section, you will see that there is a location, uh, there is a value for the location, there is a value for the rotation and of course for the scales. So with clicking I and selecting this one, we are giving this command to, we are giving this command to Blender that save this value for us. and 
it will save and turn into a this color we will move the frame it will turn into a green that mean on that specific properties in on that on that specific value there is a keyframe in in a previous or before time so we'll go in a 250 frame and i will bring this cube to here and uh i will little i will increase the size little bit and also rotate it like that and press the i again location rotation scale that mean on a 250 frame we are giving command to blender that save this rotation value scale and a location value of course we have changed the location we have changed the rotation and we have changed the uh, and we have changed the scale so now if i play the timeline you will see the cube will bypass the uh, cube will bypass the sphere we'll fix it like that we'll press the three button and on a three value we'll bring that to to something here and we'll rotate it like that by rotating it you will see the change in the color that means uh, uh, that simply mean there is a change in a value uh, which which indicate that there is a change in a value of course when i change the scale you will see there is a change here also and when we change the location of x axis and y axis like that you will see that every every value has changed and now we'll go in a three button again and you will i will add location rotation scale so with the three keyframes you will see that there is a uh, there is a cube that is going from here to there let's see in a graph editor how it's look like in a graph editor we'll go in animation tab you will see that there are a lot of things happening but we can uh, we can filter it out we'll just first go to the z location only so by select by unselecting everything and i will click on a home button to see you will see that there is uh, on a z value there uh, this is uh, the change which happened like if i drag this one to here you will see the you will see the impact on the cube and if i rotate and if i rotate this bezier curve like that you will also uh, see the change in the behavior of the animation i can also scale this one down like that it is the bezier curve of course which have two handles and uh, we have ability to change uh, with by clicking s button so that way you will see uh, the impact of uh, cube currently there is just we are seeing the rotation location same way we'll change we'll see the scale there is a scale i will select this one and if i uh, bring this to here it will go to it will bigger it will bigger in size on a z axis hopefully you understand little bit basic of keyframes and in future we will use these values a lot of time and when you will practice it you will start enjoying it if you have any question feel free to ask me see you in the next video Hello guys, Salman Nassim again. Welcome to the fourth lecture of our course in which we will discover few basic of animation. We have already seen the keyframe, uh, but we will see the shape keys and a little more. And we will also try to achieve the animation with the help of ChatGPT. So we have this cube. We'll, I will press the X key and delete. I will bring this one over here. The sphere. There is this, this is the sphere. So I will go in our data properties and here there is a window for our shape keys. I will press the plus button. That means it will save the basic for us. That is the basic shape key. I will press it again. Now we'll have the value and uh, maximum and minimum range also. So I will uh, select this key shape key and go to the edit mode. We'll select the face selection. I will select these four shape keys and press the E key to extrude and when we press the tab key you will see that our sphere will come back again and now if I bring that to here this value to here you will see the magic of our shape key so we'll animate this with the help of keyframes we have already learned in the previous lecture I will press this button to add the keyframe you will see the color and there is a keyframe on a timeline also so on a 50 frame i will bring this one to here 
and add another keyframe so from here to here there will be a animation so we'll try to achieve this with the help of chat gpt and let's chat gpt decide what object she want to create for us to understand the concept of shape keys so i have write down the prompt write a python code which have the shape keys on three objects and put the keyframes to animate so it will give me the so the chat gpt response is to create the shape shape key on three objects and add the keyframe to animate in blender using python code you will have the following code and it's give me the code and it's add the key one and key two and you will see let's see uh, what it's give us with the help of this code so in blender i have already set up this i will place the code i will delete the previous one actually we will select everything and delete and let's run the code so nothing happened actually it, it is not creating anything i think we'll have to select the uh, cube or anything any object i will select this one and press the play button you will see there is an error so you already know the process how to fix this error so it's take me to uh, it's take me around those five minutes to fix everything there actually uh, chat gpt is not smart enough to create the object uh, by itself uh, so i will have to give them a, a little scenario that you will have to create uh, the sphere and let's see what kind of shape keys they have created so there is nothing over here and nothing over here also so chat gpt actually added the shape keys but there is a uh, no there is no movement against this shape keys so uh, they have to assign it so we'll tell them so after fixing everything uh, the blender has added a shape key of to complete object which is not needed we can achieve that with the help of scale also that is why i am explaining everything chat gpt is actually uh, like a little child uh, you will have to train everything train your scenarios to uh, have the good results so currently uh, it is animating with the help of shape keys you can see it like that and but there is nothing on here on a second shape key it is it's uh, leave everything uh, it's give us the code but leave everything there is one scenario that you will place that ask me the question until give me the final result we'll tell them that give me the five questions ask me five questions to get before giving me the final result so that is the good approach to get the best result see you in the next lecture hello guys salman nasim again welcome to the fifth video of our course today in today's video we will create this solar system with the rotating stars with the help of chat gpt but initially when we give prompt to chat gpt to create the solar system of five planets uh, it suggests me to install the pip li library since from blender 3.0 the python pip library comes by default so we can enable it with this code this is for windows 10 user and if you are using any other version you can use that code i will place both of them in the description but before running that code i will suggest one thing to download the python also so we will run this code over here before opening that we will go in a windows tab and open open a toggle system console so so that's allow me whatever going behind the script to install the pip library we have the code we'll place it over here and copy it from this one copy from this one and so i will install that one and i will see that it is already installed already installed in my computer so it uh, doesn't need to install it otherwise it will download it for me so it's become red because it is already installed in my computer and also numpy also installed so after doing that uh, i have one more idea to place the glowing orbit around it we can achieve it with the help of uh, animation nodes in a previous version uh, but uh, since uh, in the latest version we have the geometry nodes and uh, when i asked chat gpt to to make the code for uh, for the animation uh, for the geometry nodes it's come up uh, with the code of animation nodes only because uh, free version of chat gpt only recognize blender 3.0 and you will have to aware of that uh, in 3.0 there is no geometry nodes 
so even i have run the code without the geometry nodes here is the result you can see like currently we are in a render mode if i go in a solid mode you will see that there is one sun and these planets are orbiting around around the sun which is a picture of uh, some solar system around the around the universe we don't know we have hundreds of uh, we are we have thousands of solar systems and uh, likewise they also adjusted the speed let me bring the code again you will see that there is the radius of the planet and the distance of the planet we can adjust it also there is a planet speed we can adjust all of these uh, even we can adjust the color of these planets by changing uh, by by changing the RGB values over here but anyway this is not giving us the accurate solution so what is the solution we'll try to use it other AI available in a market in a next video yeah. hello guys Salman Nazim again welcome to the sixth video of our course today we will test three AI tools for blender like we'll give same prompt to all three tools and let's see how they respond the first one is Google Bard and the second one is Chat Sonic. The third one is Bing Chat, which is very similar to Chat GPT. The results are very similar to Chat GPT. Let's see how they respond and let's compare all their results. So the prompt is write a Python code for Blender, which create a Grimble with 200 cubes of different size and also all these cubes animating slowly. Okay, we'll copy the prompt and let's see how Google Bard respond. So it is come up with very short script, but the good part is the Google Bard already break it down into the several parts, several parts to understand the code. If you have to understand the code, if you have some interest in it, but currently our area of interest is to check the output. So let's copy the code and go to Blender and paste it over here. It is creating 200 cubes, but that is not a Grimble and also these are not animation so that is because there is some error so give this error to the google bard and tell him to fix it we'll give the uh, we'll give the line also for example like that this is the error and for the better understanding we'll give this one this line and tell the google bard there is an error in this line it is very similar in charge we'll have to feed it up like a babies so bar is giving us some reason and uh, here is the updated code copy it and try but before doing that i will delete everything because otherwise everything will be overlapped so again same error the same line we'll give this error again to google bar given so i have given some specification that i'm using blender 3.6 and uh, there is the error this time I'm not giving him the line and let's see it will come up with the fixed code or not uh, as compared to chat GPT but there is it is not working uh, it is not fulfilling our need actually so we'll run it again and same error again uh, so whenever I give the error uh, it is uh, it is saying you are right uh, there is still an error that uh, I don't know you you will have to fix it Google when you are claiming that it is the most powerful generated generated AI, uh, generative AI, so why not you are fixing everything before giving me the code? So that that is the question. Okay, still there is error. So it is actually creating two hundred cubes, but uh, currently the uh, the Google Bard unable to fix this error, and uh, I have. Uh, tried so many times every time every time i'll try to fix it it'll it is come up with the little changes in the code but still there is an error so we will leave google bar and let's try chat sonic so i will go there and there is uh, some section that is called include the latest result from the google data so i will put that here and write down this one and let's see how it's respond I think it is creating something. Uh, Chat Sonic actually has very similar result uh, to ChatGPT. So we will delete the debris of Google Bard and place the code here. It is actually created a uh, uh, Grimble, but uh, 
and there is no animation involved in that and there is an error of course uh, it is the first try it is added the keyframes but still there is no animation on any cube you can see it from here because of error of course because of the error and let's give error through chat sonic and try to fix it so it's changed everything but also at the render part which is which is not required by us but of course we'll copy the code and we'll go there and delete everything and let's delete this part we don't need it and run it so it is adding the grimble without error but there is no animation let's see you can see it here there is a grimble but there is no animation uh, so we'll tell the chat sonic to fix the animation they they have added the keyframes but there is no animation again so let's try one last time to fix the code so it is come up with the animation you can see here is the result of chat sonic we'll go there because the speed is very fast we'll go there and place the thousand set the timeline to the thousand frames and select everything select everything bring this one to here so after that you will see that there will be a very slow motion that is what i need okay it's great i think chat sonic results are pretty much good pretty pretty much better than the google board and uh, let's try the final result with the uh with the Bing chat, the famous famous Bing chat. Let's go there and give him the same prompt. So here is a Bing chat. I'll click on try now button. And now I will give the prompt here. They have few types like the creative and balance. I, uh, by default it is selected with the balance. I will go with there. So as compared to other two, this Bing chat is pretty much Low. and you can see it is pretty pretty much slow but it is, it is also giving me the links to learn more and uh, we are here to test it actually let's test the result delete everything from here here and let's run the code it is creating something but there is an error in the line so we'll go and tell tell them to fix it hopes are very high because Bing is using a mod chat GPT module and uh, let's see how it's worked so it is creating some grimbles and i think so it is pretty much very impressive results but there is the animation only on location but also but we need uh, uh but we need an animation on scale also and per, as per rotation if we add the animation for the rotation it is not giving us the feel of the grimble so we will ask being to fix fix this stuff it is very impressive actually but they are very scattered uh, that's why we are not uh, getting a feel of grimble but anyway being results are much better much much better than the uh, google bard and finally if we compare it with the chat sonic they both are very much similar uh, but i think as per today's test the winner is chat sonic we have tried the free ais let's try the paid one the famous one is a chat gpt4 but in a next lecture hello guys salman the same again welcome to the seventh video of our course today we will test chat gpt plus or chat chat gpt4 so let's give the challenge to chat gpt and see how it's respond so i have write down the prompt generate a blender script that creates 10 by 10 x grid of cubes that varying the color mean the random color include the cube that dramatically influence the color and vertical positions of other cubes in a grid based on the distance to them the cubes that influence will be named changer cube so uh, what is the scenario that we are saying to chat that add, uh, add 10 by 10 x grid and there should be as one changer cube whenever we move the changer cube there should be a some changes on on a grid so we'll copy the script and paste it over here go to go and run it so, uh, so it is added the 100 cubes and let's see there is any influence there is no influence of color let's go to the layout section and check 
there is any driver there is no driver on all cubes let's specify it because to achieve this kind of functionality blender has to add the drivers on all of this grid cubes so after if explaining something chat GPT come up with another shift let's run it you can easily see that there is an influence here is the influence of color and here is the influence on the location also test it in a layout section and enjoy it you will see that if i move this cube anywhere there will be a change in a section of uh, there is a change in a section of color and uh, there is also a uh, there is also a change in a location of these cubes so you can easily spot it out but uh, before going further we will tell them to rotate these cubes whenever this changer, cu changer cubes come near to it so let's see how chat gpt respond to that my prompt is hey chat gpt the code is working fine 10 cubes changing its location whenever change uh, changer cubes move near to it but i want extra functionality of cube should rotate on y on y axis based on same scenarios so it's come up with the uh, with the code so i told them to give me the updated code so we'll copy this and test it i will go in a scripting scripting section and we'll go there and let's see if there is a cleaner there is no cl no cleaner so we'll delete it by ourselves and let's run the script again chat gpt come up with the beautiful response you can say that whenever i uh, bring the cubes bring the cube over here you will see that there is a change in the rotation but i feel that the the influence radius of this cube is very huge and uh, it should be changed so i will ask the chat gpt again to change the influence of these cubes so it is come up with the new code so i'll copy it and paste it in a scripting section again and you will see that there uh, now the influence area is good the colors are changing and everything else is fine so as per the explanation these cubes are controlled uh, with the code that's why I say it is rotating but if we want to create something similar with uh, if we want to create something similar it is possible with the help of driver for example i will add a monkey head and bring it here what i want this monkey cube should rotate whenever this cube move so what we'll add what we'll do we'll go there and add the driver on the y-axis right click add driver that is driver properties window so we'll go there and select this one the driver has added and now if i go there you will see that whenever i move this cube the monkey head automatically rotate that is how we can achieve it manually so again little explanation for the driver side if i click on edit driver window the window will come here so you will see that there is an expression that vr plus zero zero that means whatever the location of uh, this cube it will rotate with the help of these numbers for example uh, in the uh, expression section i add the frame now it is not depending on the cube but uh, depending on the timeline whenever we move the timeline uh, our monkey head will be rotate it is the, uh, the drivers are very interesting part for the animators and uh, one thing is left that is the driver editor we can see it all kind of drivers over here and there is a modifier section in which we can add the modifiers like the noise modifier which is mostly help, uh, helpful for us whenever we want to change the location like something noisy in a part uh, in a graph so we we can explore this part in a future and there is also f, f curves with the help of f, uh, with the help of these f curves uh, we can animate the lips lip sync uh, like we'll input the audio based on the graphical representation of this audio blender will automatically give us the lip sync we'll try it we'll try these kind of stuff in a future so as per my reaction on chat gpt plus that uh, uh, it is giving us some better result than the chat gpt but it is still there are the limitation that uh, the updated API is still 2021 and uh, uh, we'll have to figure out many things manually because of that like uh, if you if you want to generate something which is 
is released after 2021 it is very hard for you to generate with the help of these scripts so hopefully you enjoyed the today's lecture in a future videos we will try to create whole meaningful video meaningful animation with the help of chat GPT script see you in the next lecture